What is up, Man NFL fans? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're giving you another recap of E3. Today, we're going to be talking about the play calling and some different aspects of what they did with the play call menu. So, a couple things that they did with the play call menu, and I'm going to link you in the description to a gameplay of 15 minutes of gameplay from Madden 15, and uh, I've dissected that gameplay about 500 times. And one of the things that we uh, was mentioned in that gameplay was the ability to toggle matchups. And so, what he means by that is if you're if you're sitting in you know, you're sitting pre-snap, you're kind of reading the defense, and you see a matchup that you think that you can take advantage of, you can check in the middle of the game, pre-snap, how to do that. Now, I don't know exactly how the buttons are going to work out and all the details behind that, but I do know that it's an interesting feature, and it's basically so that, you know, guys can now, if you think that you have a speed advantage with, for example, you think that... Uh, Alshon Jeffrey is faster than Richard Sherman or something. You'll be able to check that at the pre-snap menu in Madden NFL 15. And I think that's a huge deal because now you can really kind of play the matchups. And another thing I want to talk about real quickly is the effectiveness of two-man under in Madden NFL 15. 15. Now, in Madden 25 and in Madden 13, I think we can all agree that the most popular defense was the two-man under. And I think we can all agree that also the arguably the best defense was a two-man under, you know? Obviously, there's problems with man coverage, and there is ability to beat it if you're if that's all you're calling, which I think that that sh should happen. But two-man under was very difficult to beat. You actually had to have a plan to beat two-man under, whereas most of the other zones and things like that, you could typically beat them on a consistent basis, even if you didn't really know what you were doing. And so I think that um, they're going to vamp up two-man under even more so this season. And I've heard a lot of talk from uh, Zan and guys who are at E3 right now talking about how if you work the shade coverages you will have an effective defense now what do you guys think about that do you think that you i went to a colts game uh, a couple weeks back and or well not now a lot more than a couple weeks back but um a long time uh, this season and we i was watching i was watching the play calling of the of the players I was watching the fronts and things like that and they were running a lot of tampa two but it was tampa two man under so it was basically like in in madden it would have been just called two man under and so it was interesting, though, of how often they would just literally just call them. And they were playing the Titans. And I think that a large part of it was because they were just simply more athletic than the Titans were. Um, but there was literally almost every almost every play, it was some type of a two-man under. I mean, there was maybe two or three zone blitzes and maybe one or two zone coverages. And that was it. And everything else was pretty much two-man under. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. I want to engage you guys, talk with you guys about your expectations for Madden 15. Or Madden 15. And... Um, Tomorrow, or if I can get it up, later today we're going to be talking about how the uh, tackling cone is going to affect Madden and how it, it looks to be one of the biggest additions. And I'm going to talk about my opinion on that and kind of give you guys my take on it, uh, what I think the advantages and disadvantages of it is. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about the gameplay that we saw, but I want you guys to quickly watch that before I do any other videos. I want you to watch that gameplay uh, that I'm going to put in the description. I think it was posted by IGN. And uh, really want you to check that out and let me know what you guys think about that i want to use that and that's going to be uh, a very good way to get some context for the next bunch of videos that i'm going to be putting out our st louis Rams scheme and our uh three four solid scheme will be wrapping up i'm going to get two videos out uh, as soon as i can there's just been a lot of computer problems this week and uh, i really apologize for that um but it is what it is and uh, luckily it's now and not in season uh so that i you know i do have the flexibility of fixing it uh without a whole lot of uh problems so that stuff will all be fixed, guys. Don't worry about it. The videos will be coming. You guys know I'm not just going to stop posting videos. You know, I've only done that one time, and that was uh, mainly just because the computer and having some trouble. So uh, we'll get some videos up. We'll talk more about Madden 15. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary because... Um, I really want to talk a lot more about it, and I hope that you guys watch those videos because I can't wait to uh, engage and talk with you guys on Twitter. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you need to go ahead and do that. But uh, what do you guys think about the shade coverage? You know, I've heard a lot of talk about shade coverage uh, really being good. Two Man Under is going to probably be king this year. Um, almost everybody that I've talked to have said, you know, Two Man Under is very difficult to beat, and even the computer is difficult to beat. What do you think about that? And just let me know. Uh, do you think that if you, for example, like in Madden uh, 25, we would use the motion snap from the gun bunch to beat man. Do you think that should be in the game? Do you think it shouldn't be in the game? Do you think you should have plays that are man beaters? 
or do you not? Let me know what you guys think. I just really want to hear your thoughts. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts on the shade coverage. I want to hear what you think about potentially two men under being the only defense you have to call in Madden 25 or in Madden 15 uh, to have a successful defense. I just am really curious to hear uh, because I think some people would like that, and I also think some people would not. So uh, just let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, have some more videos out today. Thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate your patience with the computer problems, and we'll get back with you guys soon. Thanks, guys.